Jarvin, um, defensively in the first half, you guys <clears throat> got the ball out of Lucas' hands. They missed some open shots, but you had them kind of corral. Um, was it a matter of just them making shots in the third quarter? Was it execution, um, urgency? What would what, you see from your team on that side of the ball in the third? Just, uh, you know, we talked about before the game, just being ready to initiate, sustain, and finish with energy, effort, and competitiveness. And we left it in the locker room at halftime. Um, so 48 minute game, you know, you, you would expect a team like Dallas with the type of talent they have over there, the shooters, Luca, um, they're a cohesive group. And um, you knew that they were gonna dig in a little bit and try to make plays. They adjusted, you know, didn't run as much pick and roll with Luca and put him more on the post. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, we, we have to be locked in. We have to stay locked in. Um, but my hat's off to them. They shot the ball well, the same shots. You know, they missed a lot in the first half. They made in the second. Uh, but, you know, we just, again, um, we have to know that, that you know, we, we, it just, it, it's, it's a tale of two halves, but it's a 48-minute game. It's not a 24-minute game. And uh, we kind of took our foot off the pedal defensively, obviously, and uh, to give up a 51-point third quarter is just unacceptable. It's completely unacceptable. And we're not going to do we, – we, that's not who we're going to be. That's not who we are. That's not who we're going to be. You, you, you said, said pregame it's a nightmare, turn home to the plan for Luca. What, what is the calculus between – Let's just double the hell out of him and, and try to make him pass versus let him kind of go and play him straight up. I mean, if, if, if you're playing him straight up, he's such a good player. He's so crafty and his size. Again, I can't emphasize enough, you know, people understand, how, you know, what his, how, how big he is in stature. Um, he puts a lot of pressure on a, a single defender to try to contain him without fouling. And so now, you know, you, you could say, okay, Allow him to post up and stay at home, uh, but he's going to figure out a way to get fouls, get to the rim. Like he can score at all three levels. And now you, you're in a situation where now they have everything there. And the bonus, um, now you're trying to react to him, you know, again, putting pressure on a single defender. And now you're overreacting. Now they got to kick out threes. and they, it, So yeah, the, the biggest key is to just, just to try to mix up your coverages and try to keep them off balance as best you can and have multiple efforts, you know, getting out to contest shots. But, uh, you know, he is who he is for a reason. And um, he showed that tonight. You know, he's methodical. He takes his time, doesn't let you speed him up. We, had, we did a good job of sort of speeding him up in the first half. But, you know, he adjusted. They adjusted. And, uh, you know, give him credit. It was a hell of a game by them. Moving one of the, the best big men in the game, uh, in Anthony Davis, in what's available to you. What are the challenges for you keeping size out on the court in your rotations that, that match what uh, the other teams might have? I mean, I, I think we have that, that, that group that we ended the first half with, you know, um, playing Brown at the five a little bit or, or Wingen and Thomas out there alone. You know, you have to – Everything's you throw what throw everything up against the wall and see what sticks is one of those type of situations because you know A A D is not here he's not in the lineup and we're not we're not going to start using that as an excuse hell yeah it's a big hole in our lineup we get it but now we're pros we got to step up as coaches we got to figure out ways as players we got to dig down a little deeper and uh, come up with ways that we can you know adjust and and, and find some way to be successful. Um, but yeah, just just mixing up the lineups, um, maybe playing Wayne and Thomas together. Some playing Brian at the five. Hell, I had Russ at the five out there for a little stretch. Just just you got to be willing to try those things. Um, again, that's that's a, that's a huge hole. But we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We got to work even harder, you know. And and things get you face adversity. I was always taught, you know, you you, you lean back on your principles. And and so as coaches, we have to just teach harder, coach harder, illustrate things in film, continue to do that. And uh, as players, we got to dig, dig, the guys just got to dig in deep and, 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 you know, try to band together and, and be more cohesive. Darvin, to drill down on that point even a little more, um, you know, you did have that rust center lineup of all guards, I believe. Um, that seems to have been some of your impulse when you're looking, especially for defense. Is the idea of mobility, is the idea that 
guys like Dennis and Pat are going to disrupt passing lanes or, or get under guys? What's what's sort of the goal? Just trying to get more possessions in the game. You know, the, either when you go small like that, either one of those guys, any of those guys can get a defensive rebound and push it. And you're trying to play fast. You're trying to attack downhill, trying to put the other team on their heels and put them in a position where they're fouling and you can able, you know, you can use the free throw line to try to help you get back into a game or sustain a lead. And, and, and you know, it's not just that's something we're going to explore. And, you know, aside from being down double digits, it's something I think we'll explore more um, earlier, earlier in the game. But it's just, you know, trying to play faster at the end of the day, amongst other things. And being, a, you know, having tough physical perimeter players who can switch, you know, and we can slow down with the schemes and try to just one through five is red, switch more and like size matchups. But uh, the one goal, the main goal is to be able to play faster.